So as we come to the end of the ninth month of the ongoing war in Ukraine, I wanted to take a moment to pause um, and reflect about this path that we've been walking together uh, as a network uh, in responding to the humanitarian needs uh, that are in Ukraine. First of all, I, I want to express the deep gratitude and thanks of our entire Caritas Ukraine staff and Caritas Spes staff um, for all of the assistance that's been provided, whether it's uh, material help, in-kind uh, donations, and also your prayers, uh, especially your prayers that really, that we feel them and they keep us afloat as we continue to respond uh, to the needs of the people on the ground. Uh, in, during the summer, the UN identified that in Ukraine already there were 17.7 million people in need. Uh, that number is rising as the continued strikes, uh, massive strikes, missile strikes throughout the country continue that are uh, targeting uh, critical energy infrastructure. There are uh, challenges before us moving forward, uh, and we are preparing to respond to those challenges to make sure that we continue to serve as Caritas on the ground in a localized way to all those people who will be in need. We continue to work uh, in different parts of the country. Uh, we are providing critical assistance to those who are close to areas that have been um, near the front line in areas that have been deoccupied, that are liberated. Uh, we provide basic needs to those people, food, water, um, uh, helping them to move on to find shelter. In other parts of the country, we've been working on stabilizing help. Uh, so that's moving, uh, shifting some of our assistance to more psychosocial support, to crisis um, centers, to doing case management, to helping children. Um, we have 50 child-friendly spaces throughout the country that are helping children to process what they've experienced um, through different activities and through art therapy. Uh, we're also working on the repair, light repair of homes, trying to help people move back into their houses, um, making sure that uh, the windows are repaired, doors are able to be closed. Uh, and we've assisted already over 3,000 homes to be repaired in this way. All of this uh, also in preparation as we're moving towards winter. Um, this winter is promising to be very difficult for everyone, I think. Um, we pray in a special way um, that uh, we'll be able to get through this winter, making sure that nobody is left behind that all can find a warm place uh, to shelter, that all can find the food and the basic needs that they need. And most of all, that we can all find uh, the community that keeps us strong, uh, that keeps us resilient. I also wanna take a minute to um, thank you again for all the support that you've provided um, in this path again that we've been walking together for the last nine months. We invite you to continue to walk with us in this path, uh, that we can answer the needs of, of people who uh, have been left vulnerable um, and who need that additional support in this coming Christmas season. Thank you.